Hey everyone, it is Char from Char's Fascination, and if you saw my thumbnail, wow, is it time to blow this up out of the water? As I thought so, because it seemed familiar to me that I had seen that name somewhere before. Okay, this is Clorox Wipes. This is Lysol Wipes. Now, I've had these since last summer. And if you saw that thumbnail, as we both know, both brands, not sponsors of mine, kill 99% of viruses and bacteria. Well, on both of these, it specifically states, if you read right here, that it's been killing a specific strain of what? The coronavirus. Yes. Yes. Now on the Clorox wipes, it specifically says that it's been helping to prevent. Y'all are going to be wiping your butts with these things. Because there's no toilet paper left around the world. Um, human coronavirus influenza. If you're familiar with the word influenza, it's the flu. Like I've been saying. It's strand number A2. Can I tell you how long the coronavirus has been around? Um, the coronavirus has been around since last century. That's about all that I can tell you from the military standpoint of thing. And um, I got to call Rocco back here soon. So I wanted to touch base with you guys on this. Um, just so that you guys are well aware that this virus, it, we're just fighting a different strand of this virus. Hold on, I gotta answer the phone. Hello? Hello? So welcome to my YouTube video. Yeah, but that's okay. You've been on my YouTube videos before, Rocco. <laughs> Hold on, let me put you on speaker. Say hi, Rocco. Hi, Rocco. There you go. So, how is it down in Florida? Uh, weather-wise, it's nice down here. It's getting a little bit warm. It's springtime. How's the stores? The stores are... Getting closed up with this T uh, virus thing going around that escaped from Raccoon City. <laughs> and uh, now Beals is closed. That's a department store for mm -hmm. clothing and stuff. All because uh, of the flu. You see, there's a gym over there in the South Center. They're shut down temporarily. Uh, any bars. Restaurant bars that have six percent or more income from alcohol are shut down. Uh huh. Uh, and what about the beaches? The in beaches, Florida? most most of the county, city, public and county beaches down here in the Keys are closed. And what about around Miami and Fort Lauderdale? Uh, I don't know what's going on up there, but they don't want no. They don't want no more than 10 people at a time congregating in one area. And so, what's the I, distance that everybody in this 10 needs to keep from each other just because of the flu? Six feet. What about when you went to the Circle K? Can you tell us? Well, I was keeping my distance in between me and the guy that was in front of me. I was sitting in line. And there's an idiot standing right in my back pocket, right behind me. 
Now, Chris Starr on her channel, she had the same thing happen to her. She distanced herself from the person in front of her, and some old chick was, like, right up on her shoulder, breathing on her. Yeah. So, uh, what they're doing also as a Sunday, I think 6 p.m., all hotels are closed. Anybody who has short-term rental for 28 days or less had to leave. Oh, except for at Keys Kayaks. What have they done about rentals? No, no, we're still, we're still open for business. Uh, our tours have been changed. We go out in a different place now for our tours since the city beach we used to go out on. It's shut down and locked up. But we do have, we do have tours going out of the, the Gracie Key. We have an optional spot with different types of tours. Oh, God, nice. Real nice kayak for the nice clear water back there. At least uh, something down there is staying open for business, even though, and I will say this, Rocco did let me know this, you can confirm this, that Keys Kayaks has gave back money to people that have canceled. And how much did uh, that how much is the uh, total so far? I cannot say monetarily, no. Okay. But we have been giving back refunds. Yeah, so Keys Kayaks has been giving back refunds, which is good for their business because that instills having returned customers. Yeah, we have customers saying, well, when we'll come back down, we'll, we'll order again from you guys because you guys took care of us. You know, gives a refund. Because there's rental properties down here, they're not giving back a refund. And that means they're not going to get those customers back. Right. Right. So bad right. business of not giving that money back means yeah. you're not a very good business. And what I'm saying is, as it's on the 6th of Sunday, all hotels are closing. Got to shut down at 6 o'clock. Uh, see, campgrounds, if you're... Okay, if you're renting a place that's 28 days or longer and already down here yeah. for shutdown, you can stay. But you can't come down after Sunday, you cannot come down and rent a place. For any future rentals for the next week or two weeks, everything has to be canceled. And see, this is, you know, I've been keeping people in the loop on the information that you give me. And I've been, you know, they didn't want to believe it. There it is. It's from Rocco, from Roaming with Rocco. Um, I wish you would have uploaded that video about that crab. He, he saw this interesting crab walking around. I, I tell, tell Facebook. Okay, well, I'll check Facebook. But, um... I put it on Facebook. Yeah. I'll, I'll check another, it in a little bit. Okay, another thing too, like I say, bar restaurants, if the bar, if it's percent or more of their income is derived from alcohol sales, the bar must shut down. Or bar restaurant has to shut down. If it's less than 50% of it was, but, you know, I didn't see anything in writing yet. But, uh, Okay, it was, they said, we can stay open and run at 50% capacity. We had to space the customers out in the restaurant. But when I was at Sparky's yesterday for dinner, yes, they were open, yes, they were 50%, and the place looked empty. I mean, there was customers there, but it was not. It just looked empty because they were spaced out is what you're saying? Yeah, and, 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 I mean, there was actually parking spots out in the parking lot. Normally, like, they're there at 4 o'clock, 4.30. It's, it's jammed. It's, it's packed. I mean, 
Yeah. Now Rocco had Rocco had previously ordered a uh, scooter that was coming to America from China, but he won't be receiving that right now. But I would just suggest get your money back. Um, and my uh, generator. Yeah, and a generator. So I would just suggest on that point, just get your money back. Yeah, I'm gonna wait until next month. Yeah, yeah. So, so see everyone. He's gonna wait until next month. He's being patient because he has something he's able to do. I took a day off from my dress that's on my dress form and because I got bored I'm you know I'm bored you, like you can only sew so much that's kind yeah. of a sewing joke okay, let me get back to this restaurant thing okay. when, I was at, when I was at Sparky's there's two waitresses came in there from Sunset Grill which is down the road about maybe five miles, six miles down the road. And they shut down at two o'clock in the afternoon. Okay. And then they went to the ale house, another place, and they shut down while they were there. So they ended up at Sparky's. Sparkies. And they said, and then there was talk besides Sparky's, of Sparky's shutting down. But oh, what, gosh, what, yeah. what is happening is, okay, they said that they changed the rules again and that these restaurants, instead of being open and working at 50% capacity, what they're doing, that restaurants are, they're closed for people going in. Okay, so this is what I did yesterday. I called Papa Luigi's and asked them specific questions. And I asked them about what time they would be open and how many days they're open and what's going on with that and i told them no one here in the house is sick which is true for now no one here in the house is sick um and they said no no one that works for them is sick and they're only doing deliveries right that's what the girls two girls said that uh they changed the rules and now that the restaurants can't be open for customers to go in. They're yes. open for uh, pickup and deliveries only. Yes, and that's the same thing right now with Papa Luigi's. It's it's pickup and delivery only. And when my food got delivered yesterday, the driver, which which um, she's she used to live in this house when she was a little uh, girl. Um, she had gloves on, so she had a pair of, like, the black gloves that you would normally see tattoo artists wearing. She had those on. Those are the thicker ones, so they are taking precaution by wearing gloves and having Lysol and Clorox wipes around. Um... They're also using those in their vehicles to uh, make sure there's no bacterias, which is great. I love that about them. And they're very clean people. So, um, yeah, I don't have any problem reordering from them. Let's say if I don't make it to the grocery store today because, again, I'm out of food. Um, I'll just order from Papa Luigi's. But they're not open on Sunday. They're forced to be closed on Sunday. But here's my thing. What if a person that owns a restaurant is Jewish and they don't uh, they don't work on Saturday? Uh, Oi! Uh, <laughs> yeah. So see when when people buy the kayaks he he helps to deliver. There's other people to deliver these things, but he does help to deliver from 
the shop to these residents. And what yeah. they do is, how, so how do you go about this when you deliver? When you go to deliver the kayaks, how is it that you make sure that they know you're there? Oh, I up to their place and uh, I gave them the phone numbers on uh, paper that I had and I called them up. They answer the phone and I say, Keep kayak. And they'll find me to get delivery. And they go, Oh, we'll be right there. <laughs> and then find out what side of the house they're building they, where they want to drop off at. Only, only to the front. I don't uh, Yeah. Do not deliver to the back yards of these places. Certain, yeah, certain spots. because that's kind of shady to, do, you know, say, hey, you can put it in the back. Taking precaution is great. Yeah, well, it's for insurance purposes. Uh-huh. Uh, this morning, I was up early, got up here, had a full truck from yesterday, so I unloaded that. Uh, that was four doubles in a single. I uh, loaded that at seven thirty this morning because I had I needed an empty truck because I had three pickups this morning to make, and one of them, one of the pickups was four singles. Another pickup was two doubles in the paddle board. I yeah. forget what the other one was. Now, how is your other delivery guy holding up? Uh, right now, he's still uh, temporarily uh, at home. At home, yes. Okay. So, see, they do have one guy that's waiting for a test to come back. But, you know, going out in the waters there, you, you know, and it's also allergy season. Um, you can definitely have an allergy, and then right. boom, somebody's gonna take it as you've got this new strain of influenza. Because what they do when they give you the test, if you, okay, if you're showing if you're showing symptoms, you go to emergency room. Your doctors for the test, they give you the test. They quarantine you temporarily for three days. And it takes 72 hours for them to get do the test and get the results back. Yeah. So, he's temporarily quarantined. Temporarily. You hear that, people? Temp temporarily. temporarily. But, they say now, if he doesn't have it, and he comes back to work, there's that specialist week coming up. There's no work. Yeah. There's no, no tourists. No tourists will be gone. I've been sitting here, I've been watching boats, boats and campers going north all day. Yeah. I haven't seen anything going south over one. All, all the campers and boats, except for the locals, everybody's been heading north. They're bailing out. And how many locals have been coming to the kayak shop just to purchase or rent? Uh, if you have a condo, I guess you can consider the residents. So condos don't have to shut down. Yeah. Because people own condos. It's almost just having an apartment. So it's just a fancy, fancy name for something. Condo. Yeah, a condo is so, just a fancy name for a row home or an apartment. <laughs> well, it's a, it doesn't have a big hotel room. Okay. So, what would you say to people if they came down to, you know, where, where, uh, the city that excuse me, the uh, island, I should say, that you live on. 
After all this debauchery is over. Okay, here, let me do a Jeff Dunn and Walter. Hi. Welcome to Marathon. Get your shit and get the hell out. (laughs) (laughs) No. (laughs) Yeah, right. Um, (laughs) But no, um, what would you say to people that after all this is over, what would you have to say to them when they want to come to a very reliable place that isn't going to just turn you away because people in the population need to know not to be scared. Well, okay, yeah. Once I open the, the keys back up to the church, you know, come on down, have some fun. Uh-huh. If we don't shut down, we'll be up. That's the only problem. People don't know how long these businesses and stuff are going to be shut down. Because some of them working from day to day. You know, this just went from straight being a, a uh, let you guys know, keep you informed video to keeping you informed and doing an interview with somebody else that lives in a whole different state and letting you know that not everyone is going to shut down for business. And he worked for, you know, like, delivering the kayaks for the shop. And, um, there's nothing wrong with that. And to let you guys know that this has been listed on our cleaning products for years, way before the century. Um, who knows how long they sit on a shelf? And, um, let's see. The numbers and letters on your stuff actually tells you, this is coded, actually tells you how long this has been on a shelf. And, um, also what it's for, what strains and everything. Now, the Lysol did not want to specify which which particular human corona strain, virus strain that it helps to combat. Um, uh, As for the Clorox wipes, they specify, which I think is great, um, they specify that it is human coronavirus in influenza. They specify that it's an influenza. A2 virus. So, like I said, all of this has just been a mass panic over a new strain of the human corona influenza A2 virus. Now, in a, around the world and in America, there are 54 known strains of the flu. 54. And now there's 55. But what happened to the ones in between? They came and gone. No, nobody bothered to mention them. No, uh, no that, one has... That's because everything was before uh, President Trump. They didn't, they didn't mention them. Yeah. Because and the... Anything after, after Trump became president, anything Trump's fault. Yeah, they're always blaming the president when, in fact, this has been around long since before he was in office. Long oh. before that. Now, not mentioning a person that knows, you, well, you know him too. Um, I'm just not going to say his name for his protection um, because yeah. it's military related. Um, that has known how long these virus strains have been cooked up in a lab. Yeah, well, you know what's funny? What? Okay, that was years ago, way back in like the 1800s, 1700s, whatever. Yeah. They had the Spanish flu. Yes. Around and killed a bunch of people, right? Yes. Okay, that's called the Spanish flu. And then you had the swine flu. Right? Absolutely. That was really nasty. Killed a bunch of people. Then they had the bird flu. 
Yeah. Yeah, it was really nasty. Killed a bunch of people, right? Yeah. Now, they, they're afraid they don't want to call this the Chinese flu because they say it's racist. Well, yeah. They, they would say it's racist. And there's a uh, viral video going around of uh, a woman being put in a metal box in the back of a truck. But they only show clips and bits of that. So I'm thinking that's fake. Don't pay attention to that video, people. That's a setup. It's a skit. It's fake. Because I paid attention to what they were wearing. And it's not hazmat gear. I used to be with the fire station. I was shown what the hazmat gear looks like. That is not it. That is not hazmat. Now, if you want to know what hazmat gear looks like. um, I got to go. Okay, will you do that? Say bye, Rocco. Bye, Rocco. (laughs) And thank you for letting me interview you. Okay, no problem. Bye. Okay. Bye. Okay. Now that you guys have heard from Rocco from Roaming with Rocco, um, and I've told you the truth about these, know that stop buying all the toilet paper and all the water. You're really not helping the other population <laughs> around the world. Um, places that fellow YouTube creators are, like in Canada, Sarah Mitchell said they're out of toilet paper. Um, In whatever part of Britain that um, Nathan um, lives in, um, and he's the abandoned explorer, um, and also uh, wait, wait, no, I'm sorry, that's Taser, Taser Urban X uh, is Nathan. Then you have Neil, he's the abandoned explorer. Uh, and also uh, Warren, which is Warren Urban X. They don't have any toilet paper where they live. That, that Taser has told me. So, um, and we talk on Instagram. So, I stay connected with them. I stay connected with Sarah Mitchell. And just to find out how is it in their countries. Um, it's about as much of a mess as it is here. Um, they're having the same problem in Germany. Uh, because, oh my gosh, I can't pronounce her name. Anyway, <laughs> Sorry, too. I'm sorry. I used to speak German. Um, yeah, I used to be speck in the Deutsch. Uh, but just so you guys know, according to Clorox, they do specify right here that they have been helping to kill nine. and so has Lysol of the human corona virus of a different strain of this virus okay it's not like we all don't get the flu at some time or we don't feel well at some time now Chris Starr address this on her YouTube. I was going to play her video, but she didn't answer me back. She's probably busy, so that's not going to bother me. Um, so apparently one of her friends had an incident with Starbucks, which uh, which was gross. Um, re-enter now. Um, which is gross because the Starbucks employee literally scooped out with their hands um the uh whipped cream off of the top of the person's drink like the freak hello no make a new one and the fact that that starbucks employees aren't wearing gloves 
in a specific area of the country is also very disturbing because apparently it was here in Jersey, dirty Jersey, where I won't be going to a Starbucks. Thank you. Um, sorry, but like, I'm not a Starbucks coffee fan. Um, I always thought maybe their coffee tasted a bit weird. If that makes any sense. I will promote Death Wish coffee, as you can see, like right on my sewing machine, my shirt, um, my backpack. I have some of their, yeah, I have some of their merch. Um, even keychains. Um, but just to let you guys know and keep you informed, this has been listed on brands for cleaning for a while. And I bet if you look back, those of you that had stocked up on something from last year, and I'm sorry if this video is a little extra long, but um, I was interviewing Rocco for you guys. Um, sorry for looking a mess. So, uh, at least I'm not sick. <laughs> Just so you guys know and you're more well informed on what's really, really, really going on and knowing that this, this virus is the flu. Like I've been telling you, it is the flu. This has been listed on these products for years, for years. In fact, I may do a search today going back into uh, last century's labels and look and see if that's actually there now. No, this is, you know what's really sad? I would like to see Shane Dawson actually do his video knowing that now, and Shane, I hope this reaches you. Now that you know the truth and the truth is out there, this is not no X-File. The truth is out there. It's exposed for what it is. Stop letting the news media melt your mind with their lies. Um, and I'm going to make sure that my video even reaches Facebook and Twitter. I already have one. This has been trying to load. I think they're trying to stop me from telling the truth as it is. Tell me. There you go. Um, so if you have these, you're literally battling that. And I used to tease my friend that, you know, I live in his house. I used to tease my friend all the time because he has to take a medical shot every, once every two weeks. And he would always take some Lysol wipes with him and be like, oh, don't put that on your skin. That's too harsh. And I'm not going to tease him about that. I had specifically bought these ones for him and I think he's been using them because that's almost gone. Um, I don't really care. Use them. I, I have OCD and I will literally wipe things down. Also, I was trying to look on the Clean Freak spray from um, Mr. Clean, but I couldn't find that listed on there. Maybe it's on the under label. But just so you guys know, the human coronavirus. Now, why is it the human coronavirus? That means it did not come from a what? A bat. It did not come from a bat. And that's a fact. It came from humans. Humans. Okay, like they always want to say the human papillona virus. Uh, they want to say human this, human that. All right. Well, yes, we are a host for many things. I have no cancer cells in my body. I don't know why the my blood cells are an antigen for the, keeping that away from me. Um, but specific people have been so much in a panic. I really hope that this helps you around the world to, to keep calm and get your wipes on. <laughs> because, um, now that I've let this, 
out here. I really hope it helps the population um, of people understand. This is just so you understand that um, this coronavirus has been around for years, but it's just gone under different type names. It, it's, the, it's the flu. And the only reason that the flu, the actual flu, um, takes to more people is I don't get the flu shot. I'm sorry. I'm not injecting that into my body. I'm not getting it injected to, into my body. I'm not going to be someone's guinea pig again. I've always been the freaking guinea pig. I'm not going to be somebody's guinea pig for a virus. I'm just saying, if you want to get the flu shots, get the flu shots. Um, uh, Robbie from Robbie P2 Vlogs, he got the flu shot and they said that he doesn't have this because he got that shot. So, uh, does the regular flu shot combat it? So far, apparently. Um, so now that you're informed on this, make better decisions. Um, stop buying up all the toilet paper and water because that's really not going to help you. Because you will end up wiping your butt with these if you keep that up. There's not even really baby wipes available in the store anymore or those um, cottonelle wipes. Those, those are gone. Um, they are. They're gone. And that's sad. Uh, it's really sad to say because around here, most everybody has septic. And you can't be flushing those into your septic. Mm-mm. You cannot flush these. It's a non-flushable. They have to go in the trash. So, just so you guys are more well-informed now, this whole thing is just a new flu strand. That, that's all it is. I've been saying that, but everybody's like, oh, no, it isn't, no, it isn't, no. It's in writing right there. The second one down. It's in writing. Thank you. And that's the proof. Like I said, I bought this last summer. And the truth is in the label. If you look on your, your Lysol wipes right here, that's the first thing that it lists. Now, like, you have your first category, your second category, and your third category, and it's listed right there. So let's stop panicking, help each other, stay calm, and get your disinfectant wipes on. That needs to be a shirt. <laughs> So, I want everybody out there to stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, and as always, stay blessed because you too can just use a disinfectant wipe. Oh, and the other thing that it's listed on is your Lysol spray. It is listed on your Lysol spray. They're trying to interrupt my eye. See, they just like, I had to hit something on there. My cord has been plugged into my phone for a while. You guys saw that hang up in my ear, but whatever it is, what it is. Anyway, I will catch you guys in the next one. I have some sewing to do today. This has really helped brighten my spirits. And I hope it helps to brighten your spirits as well. And keep you more well informed. My thumbnail will actually be the back like this just so you know that's my thumbnail telling you the truth and I will see you in the next one just like I just said anyway 
All right. Have a blessed weekend.